Hello everyone, welcome. Today is this video we are going to create a website with having a video background using HTML and CSS. So, before directly dive right into the video, let me show you the features of this website that we are going to design right now in this video. So, let's get into it. So, here we have the website that we are going to create in this video. As you see here, we have a logo on the left side and we have a navigation menu on the right side right here and we have a text and a nice call to action button right here so as you see here the website has a video as a background right here so here we have a nice call to action button right here you see this seems like a traveling website so in order to create this website we have a folder inside this folder we have three documents right here the first one is index.html document and then we are going to create another document right here style.css and we have an image folder in this image folder we have a website logo image and a video that we are going to use as a background so now having this now let me open this folder on my code editor in this case i'm going to use sublime fix so open this folder and then the folder is opened right here and here we have the basic html document right here so again here we have a style.css document with having a universal selector right here and Using, using HTML and body element selector, we have just added some rules right here. So, here we have font family, font size, and text rendering optimized legibility. Now, we have just linked this style of CSS with an HTML document right here using a link tag inside the head section right here. Here is it, the title of the project, and here we have the link tag right here okay now we are going to create the website right here so first we are going to create a development having a class name header and inside this header we are going to create a nav element having a class name navbar inside this nav element we are going to create we are going to nest an img element and then we are going to nest again an order list inside this an order list we are going to add an anchor element that contain a navigation menu right here here is it right so using this class selector header let me add some property value pair the first property is background image let me say having a linear gradient right here. Here we have the linear gradient having an RGB color code right here and background repeat, no repeat, background size, cover, and background attachment fixed with 100% and hit 100 viewport hit. Having this, save and refresh, here we go. And then copy this and paste right here. And then using this class selector right here, navbar, we are going to add some property value pair and an image in the message selector right here, we are going to resize the logo for this website right here. So again, using this class selector number, we are going to add some property value pair right here. The first property is display flex, align items, center, and justify content, space around. After that, padding 10 pixel from top and bottom and 20 pixel from left and right and then with 100%. Here is it. Awesome. 
Yes, right? So now let me this comment let me leave this as a comment in order to clearly see this so again copy this and paste right here and using an element selector descend the selector right here li now let me add some property value pair the first property is display line block and then padding 0 and 8 pixel after that this style none in order to remove the bullet point from this list item right here here we go awesome now again copy this and paste right here after that we are going to use this anchor element selector right here so over here what we are going to do is to add some property value pair text decoration none in order to remove the underline and font size 27 pixel and color white transition 0 0.5 second so when i save and refresh here is it right so now let me comment out this and I remove again here that's it so that is so now we are going to add a hover over effect over this navigation menu to do this we are going to use a pseudo class selector hover right here and color orange red and border bottom to pixel solid dark orange so when i save and refresh before that cursor pointer and here we go nice okay now we have just finished the navigation menu so now we are going to create another div element right here having a class name continuer inside this div element we are going to nest an h1 element and paragraph element right here here is it so again we are going to nest a development having class name btn inside this development we are going to nest a call to action button right here here we have the first call to action button having a class name btn go and the second call to action button having class name btn ghost so now when i save and refresh here is it so again, using this class selector, continuer, position, absolute, top, 50%, and left, 50%. If the position for this child element absolute, the position for the parent element should be relative. Here is the parent element header. Having class name, header right here. So now, over here, position, relative. Okay, trans okay, now copy this and paste right here and then using the element selector H1 right here font size 55 pixel and color white text align center and text transform let me say capitalize that is it and then let me add a font weight right here let me say a little bit 500 okay so now when i save and refresh that is it all right now let me style this paragraph element so change this h1 element using a p element selector right here and now let me change the font size into 30 pixel and then remove this after that, let me add font weight 
I found one meter right here. Here we go, right? Awesome. Now, let me style this call to action button right here. So, copy this and paste right here and remove some property value here right here. And then, using this anchor element right here, change this paragraph element selector by a anchor element selector and add some property value pair right here. Text decoration, none, extra line center and board radius 20 pixel and cursor pointer. And again, using copy this and paste right here. Come over here and paste right here and remove this after that using a btn class selector right here let me add some property value pair here is the first property text align center margin 30 pixel so when i save and refresh here we go right so now using this class selector btn full let me style the first call to action button right here background dark orange margin right Sort of pixel. So when I save and refresh, here is it. Awesome. Now, using this class selector, BTN goes right here. Let me add some property value pair. Background transparent, border to pixel solid dark orange, and padding 10 pixel and 40 pixel. And then let me reduce this 10 pixel from top and bottom into 9 pixel. So when I save and refresh, here we go, right? Okay. Let me increase. All right. Here, let me add a cover over effect over this call to action button right here. Background orange ring. Here is it. Awesome, right? Now, let me add a video background over this. So, in order to create a video background, over here, come over here and create a video element right here, having a class name BG Video. And then inside this video, we are going to nest a source. In this source element, we are going to add the video source. We are going to link the video source or the directory of the video. Here we go. The, vi the video is found inside the image folder and which is the name of the video is fish.mp4 having a type attribute having the value of type attribute video and then here is it, right? Awesome, but now let me add some property value pair using this class selector BG video right here. So the first property is position absolute and then write zero bottom also zero and Z index minus one. Having this, when I save and refresh, here we go. It is a little bit nice, but let me add some property value pair. So, in order to solve such problem, we are going to add an aspect ratio right here at media, mean aspect ratio 60 by 9, and using this class selector BG video, we are going to add with 100% and hate auto. And then having this, when I save and refresh, here is nice, right? Okay, it is responsible for any device. And then we are going to create, we are going to change this mean by max. That's it. And change this width into auto and hit 100% in order to responsible for any device right here. All right, so when I save and refresh, 
Here we go, right? Awesome website having a video background right here, which is very, very nice. So, what are you waiting for? Please subscribe this YouTube channel for more programming training video. Just like this one. With that being said, thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video. If you have any question concerned here, let me know in the comment section below.